Damn it, I didn't mean to get light side points. Now, Valbar. Yeah, I'm sure it had been painful. <laughs> what will you do with the flavors now? Sounds good. Quick climbers. I think it's time for me to leave England. Well, that sounds nice. I guess that would be fitting. Nothing over there. Nothing there. See what they think. I can't remember if they still think about their own stuff or if they'll be like, whoa, you also helped us in other ways. Yeah, okay. They don't really care. And let's uh, level up our Wookiee friend skills. Let's give him that and awareness. And feats. Let's give him toughness. Not that he needs it, but we might as well. And accept. Level up. Attributes. Give him. Let's give him a bit more intelligence. Back to our character and I'll speak to Zalbar. No, nothing, apparently. Alrighty. I guess we'll give him some time to think about it. Well, it's kind of 
Not kinda, but it's very nice to be done with this place. And I have decided, uh, Manon will be next. We'll get that out of the way. And we'll go to my two favorite planets next. Or after that, I should say. Um, and the fighting, I guess, was just not with the Wookiees, kind of like I thought it had been originally, but it's actually with the Circa Corpse, and, uh, we don't really have to partake in it, I don't think. Usually this is done on the desert planet, but I guess it's done for any second planet you go to. What is this, some kind of con game? I didn't drop anything. I don't want it. Fine, give me the stupid data pad. What the hell was that about? I forgot, I was gonna tell him I'm gonna beat him to death, but I was too curious. Uh, yeah, that stuff. I never did it before. I'm not sure if this character would be interested in doing that stuff. I think it's assassin, assassination quests. I'm not quite sure. Either way, we are going to Mon Manon next. I don't think they really need our help. Just gonna take the remains. Let them do their own work. I don't think we have anything else left in here. Let's see what he says. Good for you. Another fight right up here. Here you guys go. Nothing. Out bar. Well, this has been an interesting and fun session here. Blasters up, sal bars. Let's get our armor going. That's all. There we go. Caleb Nords. I don't know who's using that, but someone can now. Alright, and Lightsaber, this one's mine. Ah, it's purple, that's why. Alright, so let's go to my main one. And 
and uh, put none in and then see what we have. This adds one attack and one damage. Uh, three bonus of attack. This does one attack bonus. This one does stun and stuff like that. That's interesting. I think I'll go with... No, not that one. That one. And that one. A symbol. And for my purple one, I believe I'll go with stun and energy damage. And for her, I believe she has Rubat, so she can keep that, and next tour. Alright. Do you have any battle yeah, stimulants? What are you? <laughs> Here's a strength boost. You there anything? Uh, any more war stories? I was one of the best youth warriors in the clan Ordo in my time. No one before me had mastered the power of our basilisk war droids as quickly as I had. Except Mandalore himself, of course. In those days, we were sweeping across the Outer Rim, destroying all who fought us. Young Mandalores would prove themselves in real combat with unknown opponents above a thousand worlds. Each brought back stories of his achievements. What was your story? I remember it well, orbiting high above a placid world, its defenses just stirring. As was tradition, I would go ahead of the first wave to find enemies in the thickest fighting. I remember sitting there in my armor, linked directly with a basilisk thrumming beneath me, my heart racing with fear of the coming. I didn't know men learned got afraid. Every new warrior has to fear to understand how to beat it. You must know that. The doors opened in front of me, and the air was sucked out of the drop bay, scattering crystals of frozen vapor across my path. I can't describe what it feels like to look directly down at a world, falling continuously as you circle it, with barely 15 centimeters of armor plate protecting you. When the magnetic locks disengaged on my droid, I plunged out of the drop bay towards the battle that waited below. You dropped from orbit right in a droid? The exhilaration, the euphoria I felt as I streaked into the atmosphere, dodging self-guided projectiles and beam weapons was Sounds unmatched. Like An 80 kilometer plunge through the atmosphere, dodging and weaving, the outside of my armor glowing like the sun with the heat of re-entry. And with barely 30 meters to spare, I twisted and skimmed the surface, firing at the giant beam generators that were in my path. The explosion from that sent shock waves that leveled the entire complex around it. It was the moment of my life. I want a basilic war droid. I'll never forget those times, but things are different now. We can't go on fighting the way we did. There are too few of us left now. But I really don't want to talk about this anymore. I trust I've satisfied your curiosity for now. Is there something else you want to know? Nothing for now. Your choice. Alrighty. Let's see what he has for us. Got something on your mind, do you? Can you get me a healing healing kit? Nah, I don't need one. Never mind. Oh, I get it. Programming spike, please. Grenade, please. Later. How may I be of a I was wondering if we could talk. What is it you would like to speak to me about? How did you become uh are you doing alright? I I I thank you for your concern, but I am still a bit shaken. What's wrong? I have been thinking about myself, about Quatra, and about my fall to the dark side. I keep thinking that it was my anger that drove me that far, that nearly damned me. I look inside myself now and I can still see it. I still feel it. 
If it can't be removed, are you sure she should be here? I think maybe that I just need more time. How may I be of... Uh, how did you become a Jedi? How I came to be a Jedi? I am sure you would not find it very interesting. Are you sure you would like to uh, hear? Yeah, sure, why not? Well, it goes back a number of years. Back on my home world, we did not see Jedi very often. Especially where I lived. Where did you live? The hind end of space. A pit of a world, to be sure, where Jedi rarely tread. But we had heard of them. Well, everyone had, so that is not to be unexpected. Champions of truth, defenders of justice, heroes of the Republic. It was very easy for a child to be enthralled by their image, their mystique. Maybe I was Sounds one of those like children. Uh, did you meet one? Yes. Yes, I did. When I saw a Jedi for the first time, they lived up to everything my imagination had created them to be. I was old, and maybe a little enamored. Enamored? They were quite striking, especially the tales of their leader. From that moment on, I knew that I would have to try to become a Jedi. To lift myself out of the rut I had been living in for years, and to make a real difference as the Jedi were. <laughs> the foolish delusions of a child, but this child made it happen. As soon as I was able, I left my world and went in search of them. I found them and was accepted. I had been living my dream on Dantooine for several years before you came, although... Perhaps I was not entirely ready for it, or not completely suited to the task. Otherwise, I would not have fallen. But thanks to you, I have been redeemed. Perhaps I may yet live to see that dream of mine come true. Come, there is much we should do. Let us not waste time talking. Action is what is needed. Alrighty then. Let's speak with Mission, see how she's doing. Hey there, what can I do for you? Uh, security spike, please. No problem. Another one, anything please. else? No, anything else? Uh, do you know anything about the planet? Well, I know Zalbar's from Kashik, but he never liked to talk about it. He wouldn't even tell me why. Sorry, I can't um, be. Um, I want to talk to you about your brother. I'm sorry for the way I acted before. It's just that when it comes to Lena, I tend to get I've a little noticed. worked up. Why do you hate her so much? My brother and me had a good thing going. Sure, Griff had his run-ins with the law on Terrace, but we got by okay, until Lena came and ruined everything. She was a dancer at the cantina where my brother used to go play Pazic. Griff could be a real smooth talker, and it wasn't long before the two of them were dating. But Lena was used to dating rich Theresian nobles, guys with mountains of credits. Griff could never give her the lifestyle she was used to, no matter how hard he worked. You mean no matter how much he stole. I'm not gonna pretend Griff wasn't a hustler and a con artist, but that doesn't mean you can just insult him. He did what he did to look out for me. I thought Lena would brush Griff off when she saw how poor he was, but for some reason, she stuck around. I guess she saw the potential for a big payday down the road. Maybe she actually liked Griff. I saw Lena for what she really was, a busty, credit-grubbing cantina rat. She used Griff and took away the only family I had. After they'd been together for a few months, Griff told me he was leaving Terrace. He and Lena were going to try and make their fortune off-world. He promised as soon as he made enough credits, he'd come back and get me, and we'd all live like royalty. That was two years ago. I haven't seen him since. I don't even know where he went. Sounds like he deserted you. Oh, I know what happened. As soon as she got him off Taurus, Lena sunk her claws into Griff butt good. She twisted him around her little finger and made him forget all about me. I know I'll probably never see Griff again. But part of the reason I came with you was the hope that I could find out what happened to my brother. Don't worry. I won't let the search for Griff get in the way of what we're doing. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Alright. See you later. Okay. Let's speak with Karth since it's been a while. 
Got to do a little bit of a fight. Yes, what's in your mind? Continue our discussion from before. I thought I said I don't want to talk about it anymore. Yeah, but I'm bored, so spit it out. Cute. Nice to know you're so full of concern. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt, though. I, I, I don't know why you're so interested. When I think of all the men who betrayed us, the one that stands out above all of them is the one that I respected the most. Saul. Name sounds familiar. With good reason. Admiral Saul Carath is the commander of the entire Sith fleet. He's half the reason Malak has done so well in the war. Saul was my commanding officer back when the Mandalorian Wars first began. He taught me everything about being a soldier, and I looked up to him. Saul approached me before he left. He talked to me about how the Republic was on the losing side and about how I should start thinking of my survival. I know now that he was trying to recruit me into the Sith, but I couldn't have conceived of it back then. I, I argued with him, and he got angry, and he left. I never saw him again. You didn't think you would betray the Republic? Saul was my mentor. He led us to so many victories against the Mandalorians. I mean, even when things looked to be at their worst, I just I couldn't conceive of it. He, he couldn't be serious. I was wrong, of course. He not only left us for the Sith, he, he gave them the codes to bypass our scanners. I remember waking up as the first of the Sith bombers snuck past our defenses and began destroying half of our dock ships. I knew right away what had happened. I'm mean, not going to stop him. I, I could have stopped it all. Do you really believe that? I don't know, maybe. He might have killed me if I tried, or I might have killed him. I was stupid, however, and I let him go. No, I fought Saul for years now, and if I ever catch up to him, he will regret what he's done. He will regret it. I'd do the same thing in your shoes. Well, there's more to the story, I guess. But I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go. All right, fine. All right, let's go back to Dantooine. I know I said we won't go here again, but I think we will get what I was looking for earlier. I will skip through the cutscenes unless I have to fight something. Because we already seen the cutscenes. Alright, once again we have to fight. How boring. so bad if uh, I could turn better. If I can get this one cutscene going. I'm pretty sure it's on this world. I think we had to talk to a mission about it before though. Mission, is that you? It's me, Lena, remember? I was dating your brother back on Terrace. Lena? What are you doing here? Where's Griff? I'm just passing through. Griff and I broke up a few months after we left Terrace together. Probably for the best. Your brother can be charming, Mission, but he's bad news. Don't you start trashing my brother, you cantina rat! Take that back or I'll smack you so hard your <laughs> tails will pop off! <laughs> Mission, what's wrong with you? Why are you acting this way? Mission gets a little worked up when it comes to her brother. 
Yeah, I know how she feels. Griff can be pretty frustrating. I guess that's why Mission didn't want to come with us when we left Terrace. You liar! Griff told me that you didn't want his little sister tagging along. That's why he had to leave me behind. Is that what the hut spawn told you? I wanted you to come with us, Mission. I even offered to pay for your ticket. Why not? I paid for everything else while I was with that freeloader. But he told me you didn't want to leave Terrace. I said we shouldn't even go then. But he said we'd come back and get you after we struck it rich on Tatooine. Just another one of his lies. No, you're the one who's lying. Griff wouldn't... He wouldn't try to leave me behind. Maybe he thought you were better off on Terrace. Think about it. If Griff wasn't trying to ditch you, Mission, then why didn't he tell you where we were going? After we left Terrace, he told me looking after you was holding him back. Griff's always looking to blame other people for his own problems. That's why he abandoned you. He did the same thing to me, too, as soon as I ran out of money. He started blaming me for all of his problems, like it's my fault his get-rich-quick schemes never work out. Where's Griff now? Still on Tatooine, as far as I know. Not that I really care anymore. And if Mission was smart, she'd forget about that no-good con artist. But Griff is my brother! I, I just can't pretend he doesn't exist! If he was here to defend himself, Lena wouldn't be saying all this bad stuff about him. <sighs> hey, if you want to talk to Griff, go ahead. Last I heard, he was going to make a fortune working the Zerka Corp mines on Tatooine. But as far as I'm concerned, he's out of my life forever. Griff's better off without you anyway, you table-dancing, brother-stealing, home-wrecker. I guess that's my cue to leave then. I didn't mean to upset you, Mission. But one day you'll see I'm right about your brother. I only hope it's not too late Her by voice then. Griff sounds like the girl from the Undercity in Taras. Alright. I had talked to Mission about that. Hey there. Let's talk about your brother. Don't tell me you believe Lena's lies. Griff might be working as a miner on Tatooine, but the rest of her story is Bantha Poodoo. You can't trust someone like her. At least Griff's free of her clutches. I'd like to go speak to the Zerka Corp rep on Tatooine if we have time. Maybe I can arrange to see my brother again. Well, uh, we'll find your brother. I just hope he's not in any kind of trouble I'm when sure we do. I'm sure he is. Alrighty. Well. <sighs> so she wants to speak with us now, does she? How can I help? Speak to me. Yes, I did. I wanted to speak to you about our mission, and what lies ahead for us. It seems fate, or the Force, is driving us into a confrontation with the Dark Lord. You must prepare yourself for when we face Malak. The confrontation will be difficult for you. I remember how hard it was when I first faced Revan. Oh great, never get tired of hearing how you killed Darth Revan. It's true that due to my battle meditation, I was with the Jedi Strike team that boarded Revan's ship. We did not kill Revan, however. Not what I heard. Our mission was to capture Revan if possible. It was Malak who turned on his own master, firing upon Revan's ship while we really? were still on board it. It was his desire to kill us and his master both. Thankfully, we narrowly escaped the vessel as it exploded. Hmm. So Malak did your job for you. True, I suppose. And yet the outcome of that battle was unexpected. To all of us, Revan's end was unforeseen. As I said, we were there to capture Revan alive. The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. Remember that Revan and Malak were once great Jedi, heroes in every sense of the word. They demonstrate the danger of the dark side to us all. I'm sorry, we really shouldn't speak of this anymore. The memory of my confrontation with Revan is painful. Let's return to the mission, please. Did you like him? Alright, time to go to Manon. Skip that cutscene. And that one. Alright, another vision. Hopefully it will record. Maybe it won't. Doesn't look like it's. Oh, wait. Yep, there's the water bubbles, so it does look like it's underwater now. Hey, 
and going towards the water planet. How nice. The worst planet in the whole game. Especially if you have a phobia of uh, water. And if you thought uh, the Wookiees were bad, the people who live here have even worse beliefs. Another vision. The Force is guiding us, helping us retrace the steps of Malak and his old master, leading us ever closer to the Star Forge. It is strange that anyone would have built a star map here. The entire surface of Manon is covered Might by nothing but have vast oceans. Been land. Maybe the, yeah, maybe the land was once above the surface. It is possible. The melting of polar caps or a cataclysmic earthquake could have buried the land beneath the waves eons ago. Records from that time are incomplete. The ocean floor is vast, and much of it is uncharted, even by the native Selkarth. But how could Revan and Malak have found their way down? No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Mm. Indeed. Well then. This is one of the few planets where you can't get out of pain the dock. And <clears throat> we do take the old man because that's actually I don't want to take him. We only need him for one mission. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed session 7, and uh, I'll see you guys for the next session. Hope you guys enjoyed. Love you all. Peace to you. And uh, before we go, let's take a look out here. Oh yeah, and stay safe. Nice.